Hey, shit, Lola, fuck. Don't be negative. And all that copyrighted, uh, copying bullshit that I usually do. Uh, okay, uh, since I've been doing a lot of retro stuff, I might as well talk about something a bit newer. Well, it's kind of retro now. It's old, but at least it's still being sold in stores, so to speak, before it becomes very unpopular and it's going to be sold at 20 bucks. And I spent, you know, $400, $300 on all the games and all that. It's going to be much cheaper a few years down the road. But let me show you now. Let me show you all the money I wasted over the years on the ticker system. But I don't think it's such a big waste because. Hey, a lot of people love this system. Millions and millions of people love this system. At least in North America. In Japan, I think they hate it. Is it still being sold in Japan? I don't know. Well, Microsoft, they were pretty successful with the Xbox, so they released the Xbox 360. And yeah, that's the original set you can get. The premium edition, which has all the features like wireless controller, hard drive, headset, component cables and HD cables yeah it's one of the cool features about it is that it was pretty much HC compatible like games can look cool and high def if you have all that support on your TV yeah, kind of and you can take this plate off adjust it so it looks much better than my ugly color here born white yay but I like things kind of born <sighs> you know that's my whole stick and everything Everything is delightfully average. Uh, speaking of which, look at this library of games. Speaking about average here. Well, okay, I have some good ones in here. Here, you can play actually the original Halo on here, but it's one of the few games you can actually play on this system that's from the original Xbox. So, good luck with that. <laughs> You're going to get an error message saying, Oh no, you piece of shit, you can't play this certain Xbox game on your Xbox 360. You're gonna have to try again or download a patch, but... Hey, at least some games will play on there, so... Take what you will. <laughs> okay, and we got some cool sequels like Halo 3. I didn't think it was too bad, but yeah, I got overshadowed by the Call of Duties and all that. Yeah, Street Fighter 4. Konami Collection, Splatterhouse, I actually like that game, one of the few that did, Bomberman, now everybody hates that game, I should do a review on that one, TNA Impact, not a bad wrestling game, but not a good one either, Raiden 4, Raiden, yeah, Perfect Dark, in the movies, Smackdown, Crackdown, Go Nets, Super, and this is the Sonic, Airplane Games, more shit, yeah, we, you know, you get it. You know, look at pictures, stuff, hot girls, probably underage, I'm going to jail. You know. And this huge brick here, yeah. Look at that thing, it's about the same size as the system practically. Heavy too. Great, I'm getting a workout just lifting this thing. Ah. Yeah, component cables, wires, and wireless controller. Now this is cool. Yeah, I hate the D-pad on it, but there's more controllers you can get out here, but everything else feels awesome on it. You press that button here, you turn the system on, cool, wireless, get some batteries in there, good to go. And you can also plug it in too, to save yourselves on batteries. Yeah, you just plug it all down there. Yeah, you have to use the wireless function if you want to use multiple controllers, but hey, at least it recognizes it. And another thing you'll recognize is that you're playing for too fucking long and it'll get the red ring of death and your system will be practically useless. And that's why I don't use that thing much too often. See, I'm actually raising my voice. I'm showing an emotion. I shouldn't in this video, but sometimes this system is so great it pisses me off because I want to play for hours and hours on end, but nope. Microsoft says, oh, you're wrecking this system, so... We're going to break down and you're going to have to buy an all new one. It's pretty much death for your system. Yeah, they can fix it. They can adjust the wires and everything. You have to ship it out for two weeks. You might get it back, but it's going to get broken again. Especially if you have your old habits. Yeah, fortunately this is the original model. It's a piece of crap. You know, the games play great and all. It's 
cool system, but yeah, it has faulty hardware. And it's one of the worst I ever seen for a particular gaming console. Fortunately, if you get the newer black one with its leak, you know, it's like design, they're a lot more, you know, trustworthy, so to speak. It will actually give you a polite message saying, hey, dickhead, shut the console off and get a fucking life. You know, give your system a rest and go play outside, you piece of crap. Your system is saved. But here, it just gives you the red ring of death, your system is F, and you have to buy a new, new one. My friends, you know, I know lots of people online that have their systems all screwed up, and that's why I'm afraid to play it. I like it and all. Splatterhouse, you know, the pervert game, they're all great on here, but then you get the red ring of death, yeah, you're screwed. That's kind of bad news if you're playing games like Call of Duty or something online and you get, you know, in-depth into the game. You want to play for hours, get lots of achievements. Boom, you have to get off right away to save your system or else you're screwed. Look at this, I have to get a wireless adapter because it's not built into the Xbox 360. Nice. Yeah, I guess later editions had that all built in but not this one okay if you know how to take care of your game system don't leave it on for hours on end don't leave it plugged in when you're done playing just so you can go grab something to eat or go to work no turn the fucking thing off and yeah keep it for years instead of like months you'll be glad you did and I give the original Xbox 360 a strong recommendation of a 71 out of 100. I'm kind of indifferent to but it's still a great machine and I play it a lot. And hell, you'll have a lot of fun with it too. Get that spot slide service, which unfortunately isn't free. Lots of cool interesting games for it. Yeah, Microsoft, you did good. Not great, but good. Just fits your fucking hardware so I don't have to keep on buying it all the time. Just like your stupid Windows program. Ugh. You know, I hate those stupid pop-up windows. I hate pop-up windows in general. I never get pop-up windows on my original Nintendos. That's why I love retro so much. Okay, I've been talking for too long. I want to play this thing. It looks good. Okay, see you all later. Bye. Oh.